Ze zal je niet teleurstellen. Ook niet haar mensen niet. Ik zal je nieuwe naam niet geven. Ja. Ja. Ons behandelen is dus hier en wat maken we? Hulle steel ons veert. Het raakt alle moeilijker met jou om haar te onderhandelen. Jij moet helpen. Echte toch nodig. Nie net iemand wat beide tale kan praat, maar iemand wat beide groepe van binnen afkeer. Ons het iemand daar binnen nodig wat ons oor en oor kan wees. Ja, jy vast terug. Jy klink oor ons. Jy het al onze kleren aan, maar jy het sê van jy en weet van kooi posies. Ek ken niemand anders oor sê nie. Die tag het skoel gawat aan die kruto wat kijk kuise. Van Mero! Hoe durf jy? Hy het niks gedoen wat ek hier toegelaat het. Sy ken van hulle geword. Hulle noem haar Eva. Het jou mense betrief? Jy het jou self en jou stam om eer. Jy het my hier gelost. Alleen en ek was nog net een kind. Jou mense het jou verwerf. Hoekom wil jy hulle beskerm? Hulle is my bloed. Ja! All right, that that you have just seen on your screen. It's a movie called Krotoa. Krotoa is an influential woman in the early days of the Dutch Cape colony. She worked as a servant and an interpreter for Jan van Riebeek, uh, relaying messages between him and a local uh, tribesman. Her life story has been turned into an, a multi-award winning movie that was, however, first released overseas and now is on our local movie screens. But to tell us more about the movie, I'm joined in a studios in Johannesburg by the director of the movie, Robert. Betty Durant, who joins me now, as I said, here in Johannesburg. And we also have um, lead actress, Crystal Donna Roberts, who plays Krotua, and uh, she's live from our studios in Parliament. Good morning to both of you, ladies, and thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Live. Morning. morning. Thank you so much. Morning. Thank you so much. Let's start with you, um, Roberta. I remember the story of Krotua very well. I think it was around um, this time last year. We were in Cape Town, of course, for uh, the repatriation of a soul. So this is quite an, an interesting story. I believe that is why it had to be, you know, played out on, in a movie. Yes, you know, we first did a documentary on her life, uh, which was part of the uh, SABC's actually put out a brief for a series of programs called Hidden Histories. And uh, we made this documentary and therefore we, you know, we, we, we went into a lot of research, as you can imagine, uh, to make the documentary. So from all of this research, the scriptwriter Kay and Williams, um, then, you know, we realized that here was a, a, a narrative feature, yeah. a fictional narrative feature, because her life was so dramatic. She had such a dramatic short life at a very important part and, and point in our history mm. uh, when, you know, when the Dutch uh, finally decided to settle here. Um, so, yes, I, I'm, you know, I think it's an important movie for all to see. It is, yeah. It, it talks a lot about our history. Come on, Chassel, speaker, Crystal. Um, you, you're playing a very crucial role here of Kratu, of course. How did you get to the role? Well, um, I auditioned for it. <laughs> and um, I have to admit that before my audition, I never really knew much about her. So um, I started doing my own research. And even before I was confirmed for the role, um, it just sparked such an interest in me. And I was just so surprised that the more I spoke to people about this woman, like I found out that, that they were so little people like myself who actually knew about her. Mm, mm. So, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I, I, I believe it must have been uh, quite a challenge for you to actually mm. learn the language. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's something about learning the language where it, it just spoke so much to my soul, <laughs> if I can say it like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, there's, you immediately like feel a connection. You feel so connected to your roots. 
Um, and I find the fact that I was able to learn the language, even just in the context of the film, it was such a massive blessing to me. I can imagine. But then I think the big question to you is, why was the film first released overseas and only coming to the South African shores now? Well, it wasn't released as such. Um, mm -hmm. We tested the waters at certain festivals with the film. And that's always good to do. It's a normal practice, actually, before you release a film. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, my last film, which was Felix, um, you know, it, it was released in South Africa, didn't have a lot of attention, then w went into the festival circuit and won 17 awards. So, you know, this time I thought, well, you know, let's then people start. noticed it, yeah. you know. So I thought this time, let me test the waters. And we were lucky because we did win a number of awards. Mm. Um, and we were careful in the festivals we selected. You know, we selected women's festivals because uh, this is very much a female project. Yeah. And I think it's so important that we do tell stories about women, hence our release date on the 4th of August in Women's Month, because it's important. There's been so many women in our history that have played significant roles, and they're not often kind of highlighted or, or given uh, a voice. Mm. And this was what we wanted to do, was to give Kratoa a voice, because, you know, we learned about Van Riebeek, etc., in our history books, but the voice of Kratoa and the role that she played um, you know, from the Khoi community and that interaction between the Dutch and the, and the, and, and the Khoi was very, very important. And people yeah. don't know that. And, and a lot of, of, of experts and historians are saying that she is, in a way, um, the founder of uh, the Afrikaans language. Well, in a way, yes, because she, you know, she uh, interpreted for Van Riebeek. Mm -hmm. She was his interpreter at a certain point. She was taken into his fort as a young girl of 10, some say 11, as a servant to Maria. Um, and, we, you know, there are lots of speculation how she arrived there, whether she was taken or whether it was agreed with her uncle and Van Riebeek, people don't know. But then she was elevated to the status of translator and interpreter. For a woman at that, in that time, it was a big thing because, I mean, women didn't have a voice. No women had a voice, mm -hmm. whether they were European or women didn't have a voice. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she had, had this voice. And um, I think that's why she's so relevant also because she found herself between these two cultures. Yeah. You know, she uh, spoke fluent Dutch. She, she uh, never lost her Khoi roots. So, and also what's significant is that her marriage to a Danish doctor and adventurer, Peter van Mirov, that was the first mixed race marriage recorded in the history of South Africa. Mm -hmm. So many can trace their ancestry back to Krito. And that's what makes her so interesting because in a way we have a common ancestor, you know, and, and that's, that I think is significant. All right. Now, Crystal, I'm sure that uh, uh, the fact that the, the film has uh, won many awards, that actually makes you feel proud. It does. Um, but what I love about it is about like what I said earlier, that so few people know about her in her, in her own country of birth. And now the fact that it has traveled to film festivals overseas in different countries, and now people there also know about her. So that is what I love about that. All right. But talk to us about the ending of the movie. I know that I, I read about her story, as I said, that she didn't really have quite a, a happy ending of her life. No, because she, it's a tragic tale. Mm. Um, you know, she, in the end, in our story, in our fictional account, because, you know, there's fact and then there's a lot of deductions made about her life by various historians yeah. who have written about her. Um, and so, yes, she was in the end discarded by the Dutch and she died a prisoner uh, and an alcoholic, mm. uh, as they say, uh, on Robben Island. So that makes her life, you know, a very tragic uh, tale and, and dramatic tale and a very intense uh, tale, very intense story. All right. So the film re releases in South Africa this Friday? This Friday, yes, oh, yes. Right. August. Yes. Okay, no, thank you so much. We'll leave it at that. Thank you so much to Roberta Durant, who is the director of the movie, and Crystal Dawn Roberts, joining us from our studios in Parliament. Uh, she's the lead actress. She plays the role of Krotua in this movie. Thank you so much to you, ladies. Let's take a break. You on Morning Live. Ik ben niet de leerste aan. Ik ben niet de armeens aan. Ik 
Alexa, you never know. Three.